video we're going to take a look at the cones from drill holes function and in this particular example we're going to use the cones and drill holes to measure the, uh, the proximity between uh, underground drill holes and some underground development. So the drill holes that we're going to use are these ones on the screen and the cones and drill holes function actually creates wireframes so first of all we need to create a new wireframe go to the current objects toolbar and click on this button here to create a new wireframe object and then select the drill holes that we want to interrogate and go to the sample analysis ribbon and then click on cones and the dialog is initially set up to actually create cones in fact what we're going to do is we're going to use this process to create cylinders which are the same length up and down the hole so we're going to put the deviation to zero and make the radius seven and a half meters and when I press OK, that will create um, wireframe cylinders around our drill holes. And we can now use that to see where the wireframe cylinders uh, overlap with underground development. And we're going to test that against this uh, stoke design. So if we go to the structure ribbon and go to Boolean strings from intersections, have the new wireframe listed first and the stoke listed second, and if we press OK, it will look at all of the places that those uh, two sets of wireframes potentially overlap and create a string file. So if I just turn off the display of the cylinders and if I right click on my strings, I've got a template set up called borehole ID flag. And if I turn that on, we can see that within seven and a half meters of this stope, we have got uh, drill hole VS087.